LeBron, please, can you please sign my ball? I'm a big fan. LeBron, please. Here. Okay, well, can I at least get a selfie? Thanks. Good luck in uh, game three and four. I'll be there. Both games. Yeah, thanks. Damn, guys, that's crazy. I haven't even been in Cleveland for two minutes and I already met LeBron. It's crazy. Okay guys, so I was literally like two steps out the door. Me and Jackie were about to go to the mall, you know. I'm going to the NBA Finals tonight, but we have a couple hours to kill. The game doesn't start till later. <laughs> so we were gonna go to the mall. And I'm about to step out to leave to the mall until I notice, yo, this is KD. This is a Kevin Durant shirt. Now, hold on. For those who don't know what's so crazy about this, I'm in the city of Cleveland during the NBA Finals Okay, Kevin Durant plays for Golden State, you know, Cleveland, Golden State, they don't really get along. And especially now that Golden State is up in the series and Kevin Durant has been balling out. Yeah, let me just go ahead and not wear this. Guys, I didn't, I, I forgot that was a KD shirt because I only wear that because my mom bought it for me for Christmas. So, you know, me being a good son, I always wear that shirt to show my mom like, yo, mom, thank you for the gift. I totally forgot. Imagine if I didn't like... I don't know what reminded me, but imagine if I didn't notice and I went walking downtown Cleveland with a KD shirt. Oh my God. I wouldn't even be alive to upload this vlog. I swear. Something just triggered in my head to remind me that it's a KD shirt. So now let me just change really quick. And uh, yeah, we're gonna hit downtown Cleveland. Okay, let me just make sure this isn't a KD or a Steph logo. Okay guys, so I don't want to be creepy or weird, so I'm not gonna point the camera at them, but I swear Tracy McGrady and Vince Carter are literally sitting right in front of me having lunch. T-Mac and Vince freaking Carter. I said hi to them, but I don't want to point the camera at their face. It is time for the game. Guys, I'm so excited right now. You guys won't even believe it. It's any basketball fan's dream to go to an NBA Finals game. And I've been dying to go to one of these games my whole life. I've been to a lot of regular season games obviously but i've never ever been to an nba finals game i feel like the atmosphere inside the arena is going to be electric i feel like it's going to be way different than a regular season game i don't know how to explain it and to top it off hold on let me take a seat really quick to top off the excitement of going to go see the Cavs and warriors playing the nba finals guess what just happened i just hit 2 million youtube subscribers while i'm getting ready for this game and it's so crazy i'll have more on that later because i don't have too much time to talk right now but to keep it short and simple i just want to say thank you guys so so much for this i honestly can't believe it i never in a million years would have thought that i would have 2 million youtube subscribers so thank you really from the bottom of my heart i appreciate it and i'll always say we have 2 million subs not me i didn't do it by myself but we did it we hit 2 million YouTube subscribers, so thank you, and hard work pays off. Let me just say that. I never, ever, ever would have thought that I would have 2 million YouTube subscribers, but I work hard every single day, and to keep it short and simple, hard work pays off. But now, guys, I feel like this is going to be one of the most exciting days of my life, and I haven't even left. It's just, I've been anxious ever since I woke up. This is something I've... I've had on my bucket list ever since I was a kid, ever since I started liking basketball, I always wanted to attend a NBA Finals game and it's finally happening. The anticipation is real. Listen, Cavs, Warriors, all I'm asking for is one thing. Just please not another blowout. After watching the first two games and seeing the Warriors kill the Cavs, all I'm asking LeBron, Steph, KD, Kyrie, come on, if you guys love me, just Please, no blowout. At least a close game. That's all I'm asking for. We're in Cleveland, and the Cavs are down 0-2 in this series. So it's a must-win game. They need this game. So I feel like everyone's going to be crazy. One last thing, and this is just crazy. Jackie was getting ready to watch the game in the hotel room. You know, I was about to leave to the game. I was going to go by myself. And my manager texts me, and he goes, Hey, Brandon, your tickets are at the front desk. Go pick them up, and there's a little surprise for you. So I'm like, okay, whatever, you know, I told Jackie that I'm gonna go pick up my tickets. And like I said, she's getting ready to watch the game over here in the hotel room. And so I go to pick up the tickets and my manager surprises me with an extra ticket for Jackie. So Yay! out of nowhere, up until this very moment when I went to pick up the tickets, I thought I was going to the game by myself, but my manager came in clutch and he surprised me with an extra ticket. I don't even know how the hell he got that. So now Jackie has to literally rush and rush. <laughs> We literally just found out she was coming with me, so she has to rush to get ready because we gotta go. Her makeup's 
February, judge me. I don't care. It's okay. How excited are you? I'm so excited. I actually just want to say I'm so proud of you. So yeah, guys, one more time. Thank you so much for 2 million YouTube subscribers. And I love you guys all, but it's time to go watch this game. Oh, and for everybody wondering, I've never seen the Warriors or Cavs play in person. Never. I'm just, I'm so excited. I don't know what to say. If you can't see it in my face, then words can't describe how exciting it is for such a big basketball fan like myself to be going to the NBA Finals. It's going to be crazy right now. Guys, look at the hat that Jackie bought. <laughs> oh my God. Wait, smile with it on. She's nothing like a girl. My hair is a mess, so I'm like anything to cover it up. This is the only time in my life that I'll let her wear something that isn't Phoenix Suns. Guys, once again, thank you so much to my manager. Thank you, really. Yes, really. So now I'm not going to the game by myself. Downtown Cleveland. Babe, you think I know where I'm going right now? Oh. I'm, just, I'm just following everyone else. <laughs> we have the same exact pace. Don't mess it up. We literally have the same exact pace. Is that why you're taking a picture? <laughs> Is that why we're dating? Because we have the yeah. same exact walking pace. The atmosphere in downtown Cleveland is crazy. Like, everything is about Cavs basketball. Everything. <laughs> it makes me just wish one day that the Suns are in the finals. Like, I'm telling you, it's all Cleveland Cavaliers over here. So, one day when the Phoenix Suns are in the finals, if that ever happens, I want this to happen for my team because it's crazy. One day, Suns. One day. And I'll be there in Phoenix when it does happen. Guys, I swear, one of my top wishes would be for the Phoenix Suns to be a championship team. Oh my like, God. like, a lot of people would wish for money for themselves I like forget myself I just would want the Phoenix Suns to be a championship team I just love the Suns I love the Phoenix Suns here's the baseball field this is where the Cleveland Indians play obviously and then down there is where the Cavs play so they're like right next to each other that's actually something a lot of people don't know I actually do know a lot of baseball I like baseball low-key this is like a hundred on a hundred right now <laughs> This is so funny. Guys, shout out to these guys that watch my videos. Thank you. Get yourself a girlfriend who supports you. Two mil. Okay guys, so we're walking all the way back to the hotel because we're not allowed to bring backpacks into the game. I didn't know that, so. They played us. All I had in here was just this. <laughs> we have to walk all the way back to the hotel, put my backpack in the room, and then come all the way back. You look good, though. Hmm, this looks familiar. The baseball <laughs> field. Well, Brandon's on his way back with no backpack. Oh, you're so Brandon. Yes. Guys, so these are our seats. I feel like there's such a good view of the game because you could see everything, both sides of the court. Shaq, Big Diesel. Guys, my stomach hurts. I have a fever. I have a headache. I feel like shit, but I don't care because I'm so excited to be here. No, but really, I feel like I'm gonna die. I don't know how I got so sick. Of course, the day of the game, of course. But I don't care, I'm so excited. I'm gonna be screaming go baby for LeBron. Guys, this is where Jackie learns how to stretch me. She watches the professional trainers and then she does it before my games. I know, I just said I need to do a little thing. Already? I thought before my game.
Kevin Love looks exactly like Lil Dicky. They look like twins. I didn't know Lil Dicky played for the Cavs. He's a rapper and an NBA champ. That's LeBron. Of all people, they can't afford to lose. You could hear everybody's heart drop in this arena. Guys, when LeBron went down, literally every single person in the arena had a gas. Like, everyone just stopped breathing. that last shot. Okay guys, so it's halftime right now. It's been a really, really close game, but the Cavs are down by six. So we'll see what happens in the second half. I don't know. The Cavs can't afford to go down 3-0, so there's a must win for them. What I've learned so far is that uh, LeBron is pretty much a god here in Cleveland. And uh, Iman Shumper looks more like designer in person than he does on TV. Shumper, he's designer. We'll see what happens in the second half, but it's been a really close game. Exciting so far. Do you know his name? JaVale McGee. That's, that's Shaq's best friend right there. Guys, I spotted Ben Simmons. Right there in the green. I spotted him from the back of his head. No, no, Ben Simmons is right there. The Henny God. That was such a J.R. Smith shot. Way 
way too easy. That's crazy. LeBron got to be more aggressive at the end. That's crazy. He was scoring all game easily, and then he passed up way too many shots at the end. And then that Kevin Durant three, man, Kevin Durant's a cold blooded killer. It's too good. Bro, the energy after that game is dead. Right? Uh, everyone is pissed, and rightfully so. I don't know how the Warriors pulled that off. They pulled it off. They always come out clutch. I don't know how, but they did. Oh my gosh, seeing this live is so weird because I see it on TV every time Cleveland plays. Guys, what a game. I'm still in shock. Like, when you're watching it on TV and you saw the Warriors come back, it's like you saw it happen. But when you're there live, it's like you don't even notice it. The Cavs were up by six. And then with a blink of an eye, you look at the score and the Warriors are up. Like it just, it all happened so fast. And being in that arena, the energy went from, you know, everybody going crazy to like everybody was stunned. Everybody was silent and the whole crowd was shocked. You know, it felt dead in there. And it's just so crazy because one minute before everybody was going crazy. One minute later, everybody was just sitting there. It was just wild. You cannot compare watching it on TV to being there live. And hey, I got what I asked for. I asked for a close game and that's exactly what it was. It was a close game. It was really entertaining. Although I did want to see LeBron win because as a basketball fan, you don't want to see a sweep in the finals, obviously, unless you're a Warriors fan. But as a fan of the game, you want to see more basketball. You want to see more games being played. I don't know. At least it was a close, entertaining game. This is not my NBA channel, so I don't want to get too in-depth about the game. But what I do want to say is, one, LeBron played his ass off. LeBron had nearly a 40-point triple-double. He played great. Kyrie, you guys saw, he played amazing. The Cavs needed to get more from their role players. Their role players didn't do much. Tristan Thompson, dude, that guy... I don't know what the hell happened to him. He looks like a gump out there. He needed to help Cleveland out way more. They just needed more from their role players. And then from the Golden State side, man, this team is just, they're, they're way too good. I don't even know what to say. Last year, they went 73-9, and nine, and that was the best record in NBA history. But this year's team is way better than that. They're just, I don't want to say it, but they're unstoppable i don't think there's any team that could beat them whether that's this year next year or the year after i'm kind of worried that wait the suns can't beat them no the suns mm -hmm. could beat them i meant every other team no nah, but in all reality i'm kind of worried that the warriors are they're just gonna be killing teams day in and day out you know adding kevin durant was not adding something small kevin durant is a hell of a player just like you guys saw yesterday just like you guys saw in game two just like you guys saw in game one you know, yeah, a lot of people make fun of him for the decision that he made. And even myself, I don't respect that decision. But when you look at him as a player, there's no denying this dude could play ball. Kevin Durant can play basketball. He is good. He is really good, actually. And I don't know. This Warriors team is just, in my opinion, this year's team is the best team in NBA history. And I don't think there was any team that could beat them, honestly. They're just too good, too many weapons. They're, they have way, way too many pieces to lose. So anyways, guys, one last time. Thank you so much for two million subscribers. I appreciate it really from the bottom of my heart because I couldn't do this without you guys. So I really, really do thank you guys and I mean it. We hit 2 million subs, and I feel like this is only the beginning. I feel like we could really hit 3 million, and maybe one day 4 million. Who knows? Maybe one day 5 mil. I don't know. The sky's the limit, but I really do love you guys, and I appreciate what you guys do for me. And other than that, 
that's going to close out today's video. I had a really, really great time at the game, and I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog because I feel like it was fun. It was a fun vlog, crazy, entertaining. Other than that, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my trip in Cleveland and still haven't missed an upload on this really long vacation that I've been on, just like I promised you guys. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Drop a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new. And for Watt Squad, I love you guys all. Peace.